Welcome to this video guys, let's see how we can install the latest MySQL version that is 8.03 and how we can set up Workbench and how we can create first MySQL database. First go to this URL, I'll have this in the description below, you can copy it from there. Now you'll see two options to download, the first one is just 2.1 MB, the second one is 303.6 MB. So we will download this one because this contains everything we don't need and it is not a web installer. Just click on no thanks, start my download and your download will start. Let's wait till this is complete. Once the download is complete, just click on open file and your installation wizard will open. If you are asked do you want to allow this app to make changes, just click on yes. Now here you can choose what you want to install. So if we do server only, it will only install MySQL server. But since we want Workbench 2, I'll click on custom. Then click on next. From here we can choose what we want to install. Click on this plus icon next to MySQL servers and click on this plus and we will choose mysql server 8 click this arrow that will, that will move this to this product to be installed section okay we need to plus once more click on plus once more and now this will become green move it to this products to be installed section and we will do the same with workbench 2 and now do the same with mysql shell so shell allows us to write mysql command in terminal so we will move this to the install section 2 and these three things are selected for installation now click on next and as you can see these three things are ready to install just click on execute now and the installation of all these three things that is mysql server 8.0.39 mysql workbench and mysql shell has started let's wait till this is finished so after a while the installation is complete just click on next and click on next again and here we will see these things that is the default port of mysql server is 3306 no need to no need to do any changes here just click on next click on next again and now you need to choose the root password make sure you remember what your root password is so and here this shows that the password is not matching because we have not entered any password here again enter the same password here now it's showing password strength is weak, but uh, I do not care because it's just the local machine. Now click on next. And this means that your MySQL server will be started whenever your computer is booted up. So leave it as it is, no need to make any changes here. Click on next. And it is showing this is where all your databases will be stored inside program data, inside MySQL, inside MySQL server. Now click on next. And finally click on execute and all these configuration changes will be made so now we have finished the configuration tool just click on finish and now click on next so we have finished installing now these two things means that once we finish this these two things will open that is workbench and shell will open so we want to check them out so we will just keep these checked and click on finish and as you can see mysql shell has opened and workbench should also open shortly and now mysql workbench has also opened so this is an old connection so it is still showing in your case this will be empty now how to connect to the database from mysql workbench the workbench is just a tool that helps that helps you to connect to a database and you can view the database and make operations on the database using this so let's connect to the database click on this plus here and here uh, write any name that you want so i'll call it local connection and here you enter host name and the port name so port number is 3306 and it was the same as we had set it as uh, while installing our server so no, no need to change it there and now for password what you can do is you can click store in word so that you don't have to enter it again and now enter the password that you had chosen for your mysql server click on ok click text connection as you can see you will see the message that says successfully made mysql connection so click on ok click on ok now and as you can see your connection is shown here now you can just click on this and this database connection will be opened up and here as you can see we don't have any databases as of now so from here what you can do is you can just click on this administration and here you can see server status client connection users and privileges and all this stuff and to create a new database click on this icon here the first one after this line here or the fourth one here 
and now it will uh, show you create a new schema so I'll call it my first DB click apply click OK and this is the query that will be run click on apply and as you can see it says script was successfully applied to the database click on finish and if you click on the schemas again here my first GB is created that is your database is created and it just does not have any tables it is empty and you can just right click and click on create table to create a table and I'll just call it new table and here you can enter the column names so I'll write ID and I'll set this as primary key and I'll write let's say name and I'll write address and just click on apply here and now this query will be run to create table click on apply click finish and now you have your table new table is already here so this is how you can install mysql server mysql workbench and create new database and tables if you have any questions let me know in the comments below